Well, I've just broken the needle on my uh, serger and I need to change it. And the little screw is the left one. It says L there. I'll zoom that in. You see? It's got a left and a right and it's the left one that I need to change. But it takes a little screwdriver. Now then, I need to unscrew that screw, that tiny little screw, in order to change the needle. So this is a neat little gadget that I got at my local DIY shop. It's, it was from the range. I purchased mine from the range. It's a little tool called Amtech. I shall see if I can find somewhere online that you can get it from if you're if you're not local. But the it's here it's got like a little Phillips screwdriver on the end. And the good thing about this is I take that out, it's just held in by a magnet, and I unscrew the end, this end. And in the end, if I tip all those out, I actually have some spare nibs, and they're all different kinds of nibs. I have a bigger Phillips screwdriver, that's the one that was in, a bigger Phillips screwdriver. I have one of these star-shaped screws, there's two different sizes, and I have a flat screwdriver blade, a very fine one and a, a medium, well, when I say very fine, that's probably about two millimetres, that's about three or four millimetres. So it, I think that it's, I find this handy because I've now got to change the needle so I can put that one that pops into there it just magnet it's like a magnet is attracted to there and then i can pop all of those back into there they all go in they all sit inside screw the top back on it's like a little pin and i now have my blade for to to loosen the screw and to change the needle on the machine pliers my set of pliers to grab a hold of that needle and pull it out and that's how I get the needle out bin that, get myself a new needle your sewing machine, machine needle if I hold it like that it has a flat side and if you turn it over it's got a curved side and down that curved side along there is a little ridge so the ridge is what comes to the front and the only way I remember it I sometimes I keep forgetting the ridge is for the thread to go down that the reason why the ridge is there is so that the thread can go down that little ridge but I also have a little saying flat to the back a flat back you, the front of your body has protrusions your bust and your um, your belly, but your back is flat, so flat to the back. So I then get that needle like that, hold it with my pliers, get it into the gap there, if I can, and then I'm going to slide it up into that hole. I don't know if you can see. It's gone in there and I'm pushing it up. I'm using the tip of my finger to hold it in place so I get it further. Push it up. Now, your right needle should be the one that you can see with the thread in. That's your right needle. And that should be longer than your left. If you're getting it both the same, then you've got it wrong. So then I get here and I tighten that screw again. I don't know if you can see me tightening the screw. And I tighten the screw again there. The right way. And the nice thing about this is I can, I can grip it and turn it. So I'm holding it with the back of my fingers like that. And I'm tightening it up. There. So that's my screw done there. 